Hey you, what's up? The Week in Contrarian Tweets, so let's get on with it. The biggest news of the week was the launch of a brand new branch of mathematics inspired by the artwork of MC Escher. Discovered by 1991's most influential ball to hit pop duo, Right Said Fred, this new, as yet unnamed branch shows that any increase in a proportion is simultaneously accompanied by an inversely proportionate decrease. Thus, they were able to show that a 47% reduction in long COVID for the vaccinated would simultaneously lead to a frightening 53% increase. Sadly for all of us, as soon as the MSM, mainstream mathematicians, got wind of this, a quick, albeit clearly forced, retraction was forthcoming. Yet another example of cancel culture's chilling impact on rational discourse and the pursuit of new knowledge. And in a shocking development, an expected ally in the shape of lightweight humorist Dave Rubin tribute act, Andrew Doyle, had this to say on Right Said Fred's move into maths. Most of the world laughs at them. The majority of our own, our own population laughs at them. Brutal. Anyway, in other news, Andrew Neil has now been cancelled by GB News. The shocking development comes after the news channel's spiritual Ramesses, Nigel Farage Farage, noticed that the Scotsman has Neil in his name, something which doesn't meet the station's editorial guidelines. Speaking on the matter, Farage gave a succession of interviews where he made his feelings about his former mentor hiding the political motivation behind his surname perfectly clear. Outrage! Complete betrayal! Betrayal! Final betrayal! Farage has quickly looked to replace the shamed former anchor with Isabel Oakeshott, recently dubbed the viral Nostradamus or the Cassandra of COVID due to her superhuman predictive powers. When asked about the move, she admitted that it was bittersweet as she can no longer courageously protect freedom of the press by handing sources for stories over to the police, but that she would get over it. And finally, in tangentially related news, the award for least self-aware tweet ever goes to minority grifter engaging in societally approved racism for money and clicks, Constantine Kissin. Congratulations, Constantine. Satire is dead.